How eating locally can help with climate change. Did you know a truck full of oranges from Florida to Duluth, Minnesota emits 5,200 pounds of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere? That means 13.5 pounds per orange. Every day, more greenhouse gases are being put into the atmosphere. So, by eating more local foods, you can help slow down climate change. If everybody lived like an average person in the U.S., we would need over four Earths to evenly distribute the amount of greenhouse gases we are producing. Did you know the amount of energy it takes to raise, harvest, process, package, and deliver one pound of beef is equivalent to one gallon of gasoline? What can you do about this problem, you might ask? Well, something you can do is go to the farmer's market or go to a store that sells local food. By eating locally, we use 5 to 17 times less carbon dioxide than the amount of energy producing from far-flung food. Animal agriculture is responsible for 13 to 18 percent of human-caused greenhouse gases. So by eating less beef, chicken, etc., we can help reduce that amount. Transporting and harvesting seafood from the ocean takes 80 liters of fuel per one ton of seafood, depending on the kind. By eating more locally, we can help reduce the problem of emitting too many greenhouse gases. Even eating local apples can help. So, as we said, eating meat and seafood takes a lot of energy, so we recommend eating less meat and seafood. Lots of CO2 emissions can be very harmful to our Earth, so by eating more locally and less meat, we can help the Earth. Greenhouse gas emissions go into the atmosphere every day, so a few of the ways that we could be eco-friendly is by eating more things that are produced locally. Please consider our request to eat more locally and eat less meat to reduce our carbon footprint. These are our sources. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.